have some targets here and some down here. It's massive overfishing. It's deliberate and sustained and sophisticated cheating. We are making some progress in our negotiations and both the European Union and Canada are working towards a negotiated solution. We are of the view that it's possible to, need a, to uh, achieve a negotiated solution to the current problem. Talks continue, but... Uh... To uh, achieve a negotiated solution to the current problem. Spain was a big country. Talks continue, but uh, I'm not, uh, I have not... Uh, uh, a final idea of what they're going to be, and in any case, I hope that Canada will not again uh, unilaterally act against our ships. Any sanctions? Can... We have chosen a type of ship that will demonstrate that we are giving moral and physical help, but we are not escalating in the sense of a, of a military. Nothing to do with that, of course. Nothing to do with that. But the priority right now is to see whether these talks uh, go somewhere, and I should say to you, the fact that we're talking conservation measures, Canada regards as important. Uh, but all of the other vessels in the fleet uh, are outside the zone where they've been now for several days. Uh, I think that that is a positive development and a constructive development. It indicates, I hope, that uh, the uh, Spanish authorities or Spanish uh, captains themselves want to see this matter resolved, and they are staying out of the disputed zone while these talks are ongoing. It is regrettable that one vessel has come in uh, in a very provocative way. It's well inside the, the zone, deep inside the zone. Uh, for the moment, we're just watching it. Are you going to stop it fishing? If it